How about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today I'm going to do my one year review of the Husqvarna MZ61 zero turn mower. Stick around. This is going to be my one year review of the Husqvarna MZ61 zero turn mower. I've got the Briggs and Stratton 27 horsepower engine on mine, so that's the model that I'm going to be talking about for my review. I want to do a general overview and discuss the pros and cons of the Husqvarna MZ61 zero turn. Again, the model I've got has got the Briggs and Stratton 27 horsepower engine. I've got a five gallon gas tank on it. Comes with the handlebars, a big deck to put your feet on and uh, just a lot of nice features in this particular mower. And so let's start from our, let's start from the front and kind of work our way back. So the 61 inch deck provides for a huge area for your feet to be at while you're mowing. Also, you, you know, if, you, if you're out in the hot sun or something and you want to tote a small cooler, you have room for it here. Lots of room, nothing obstructs your uh, uh, feet when you're on and off the, tra the lawnmower. So everything works out pretty good for the actual deck where your feet go. And of course, all your safety stickers are, are nice and visible to start and operate the, the lawnmower itself. On the right side of the mower, you have an option to raise or lower your cutting deck. You simply depress the pedal with your right foot, and now you can pull this pin out on your, with your right hand, and you have options on how high or how low you can set your deck for your cutting. Whatever cutting depth you need it to be, you simply set it with this pin here on the right side. So I want it at three and a half inches. I set the pin here. Something else I really like about this model is it has a locking position for when you transport your mower or when you're driving, you know, you're not cutting with it, but you're driving across the yard or whatever. And you simply release it, and now the deck goes to the desired cutting height. So I like this, I like this locking option that you have for your controls there. On the left side of the mower, with your left hand, you have your parking brake and, of course, the associated safety switches with that. And then you have your hydraulic arms as any standard zero-turn mower that you have. On the right side of the mower, you have all your key switch functions and your throttle, your PTO, and your choke. Now, I want to tell you, this is really the only con I have with this machine, okay, is that every time I crank my engine, I have to crank it with a choke. It doesn't matter if the engine is cool, doesn't matter if the engine is warm, doesn't matter if I pull it out of the garage after three days or if I've been running grass for 15 minutes and now I'm going to start uh, cutting, I cut it off and have to, you know, move a piece of trash and then jump back on it. I got to use a choke to start the engine with. And it's been like that literally since day one that I've had the, uh, the mower. Now, even though I had to crank it by using the choke lever, literally as soon as the engine is cranked, I push the choke lever back down and it runs as smooth as butter the rest of the time I'm cutting with it. And so I don't know why it's like that. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, obviously, a, maybe an air fuel mixture ratio in the carburetor. Don't know. I, I deal with it. It's no big deal. So let's talk about this 27 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine though, because I do like the engine and everything they thought of when they put this engine on back of the mower. So on this 27 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine, the Endurance Series, man, they thought of everything when they, when they built this engine. The oil change on this thing is super simple. It's this little yellow uh, drain tube here. You simply remove it and place your tube into a drain bucket and your engine oil drains. You, you can do an oil change with no tools whatsoever. I got a video of that. I'll put it in the description above. And uh, I put a little card up here for you to look at that video and you can watch me do the oil change and the service on this uh, 27 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. It's super easy. They thought of a lot of stuff. They also thought about easy access to your air filter. You simply just remove these two screws and boom, you've got your air filter right there. And you can pop it off, clean it, pop it back on, and you're good to go. <clears throat> so maintenance on this thing, super easy. Everything's easily accessible. Everything's, there's nothing cosmic about it. One thing I think Husqvarna could have done a little better job on is the seat. Now I have this seat here. It's kind of a plastic vinyl type construction, 
but it got it has a really weathered look to it now so you can see kind of how it's weathered now fortunate fortunately it has not ripped or torn anywhere but it did lose some of its kind of luster if you will uh just by being out in the sun and i keep it in a pole barn and a garage 90 percent of the time so a little disappointed in the quality of the seat but other than that one thing i'm not disappointed in is the cutting deck itself i mean this sucker has a 61 inch cutting deck you can get a lot of grass cut when the cutting deck is 61 inches wide and i'm telling you this thing it breezes through my yard I get on this thing, I get it at full throttle. It's a nice, even cut. The Briggs & Stratton 27 horsepower engine doesn't hiccup at all. Uh, it, it's got a really, really responsive uh, handles. Uh, the blades cut even. Uh, it's just a really, really nice mower. I've been real impressed with the fact I can get a lot of grass cut in, in a short amount of time. Overall, I've been real pleased with this MZ61. It's a big mower, it's a fast mower, it's an efficient mower. And so if you're in a market and you're look, you know, you're like, hey, I need something that's going to cut even and it's going to be efficient. Well, you're going to, you know, go test drive a Husqvarna MZ61. It's responsive. Uh, it doesn't use a lot of gas, gets a lot of grass cut in a short amount of time. I think you'll be happy with it. I would like for you to take this moment to hit that subscribe button below. On our channel, we do a lot of tractor videos. We do a lot of land management videos. And we do some videos about just simple gardening and hobby farming and things of that nature. So hit that subscribe button below. There's also going to be a little white circle pop up and a bit of icon of our barn. And that will take you to our subscribe page as well. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you'll hit those pages as well, Hamiltonville Farm, we would appreciate all that support. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. Y'all take care.